<laughs> Welcome back to Mommy Monday. Yes. I have my bestie with me, my Chris. Hi. If you would like to follow her, please go check out her Instagram. It is I am Chris D. Spell it wrong. Because <laughs> I keep your name wrong. I A M C R Y S D E E. Chris D. Mm -hmm. And you know me. So today we're going to do a really informal Mommy Monday video. And we're just going to tell you a few of the things that we love. view products <laughs> that we love and don't love. She has a two month old and I have my soon to be eight month old. Please be on the lookout for her eight month video. Yeah, so we're just going to hop right into it because I don't know what else to say. Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> this is my first video. So we were talking about it. Wait, what are we starting with? The well, things we don't need. Okay. <laughs> we can start with the things we don't need. Oh, you don't need a baby wipe warmer. Guys, don't go out and purchase that. You don't need it. I thought I needed it because my baby cried the first time she got her booty wiped, but she was fresh out the womb exactly. and had never got her booty wiped. I don't know what I expected to happen, but I'm a first time mommy, mm -hmm. so the first thing I did out the hospital is stop by Baby's R Us and get a wipe warmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my second one, so I knew that already, but she had to learn for herself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I don't have no excuse, but it's such an inconvenience for one to be refilling it, packing it here and there, and the baby eventually doesn't care about whether it's cold or not at all, so it just sits there. I don't use it. I haven't used it since at least like three months if i i probably stopped before then so baby wipe warmer no okay what do you have the glider yes you don't need the glider i mean you're gonna have the baby right next to you and you're not gonna want to get up and get in the glider and just rock the baby you're halfway asleep through the night what do you need that for my glider it's nice decoration for the baby's yeah. room however i hardly ever sat in the glider to rock her to sleep because one it didn't help for two I was too tired mm -hmm. to want to do that I'd rock her right here and she put her fine. in our number one favorite the bassinet mm -hmm. that's the one must have yes. <laughs> it is our must have some people co-sleep we, we don't really do the co-sleeping no. especially when they're so small it's a great risk for SIDS and yeah. And you're rolling over on your baby. I mean, of course you're gonna be sleep. You barely get any sleep yourself, I mean. It's possible, it's completely yeah. possible. Not a risk we're willing to take, but we want baby close, so the bassinet is a must. And in those nights, you know, just rock your baby mm -hmm. while you right have sleep like this and put And tell them what happened with the, the glider. That's why this is another reason too why he, we X out the glider. <laughs> yeah, okay, please do not judge me. Nobody was hurt in this incident, but I felt horrible. I I called her and my friends and I was distraught. You know, it's not it's late. I was walking with the baby and I tripped over the end glider. piece of the glider. Where you prop your feet up? Uh, yes. And I was so distraught. Because I'm, again, first time mommy I felt with my baby. I and was no so, one was hurt. I mine. was so, <laughs> I was so scared though. Yeah. So, I mean, it is a hazard to have in the middle of the way. Exactly. And you don't use it, so. Yeah. I wouldn't waste my money on it. And if you do, make sure you get you a cheap one or go on OfferUp or Craigslist <laughs> or whatever. And put it out of the way. Like, try to put it out of the way. It's kind of hard, but. I don't have one in my baby's room. Because you it. don't need one. Don't need it. <laughs> uh, a must have? I don't know. It was... Oh. Diaper Genie. Y'all. <laughs> we're Diaper Genie fans. <laughs> yes. There's people who say it doesn't work or... Oh, but baby, it does. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know whatever they say. We say it works. And my baby has atrocious poopies. And for my baby, don't be two months old. Oh my God, stink, stink, stink! <laughs> <laughs> it is horrible. Yes, that diaper genie is a lifesaver. It is, and it's no mess, no mess at all. It's easy. It's very easy. Yeah. New I moms, you need it. <laughs> 
So the camera shut off on us. Well, we were talking about diaper genies. Yeah. Anyways, the point is, we love them, and you should have one because you need it. Because we said so. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Okay. No, it doesn't. But anyway, so basically, I love this Playtex air vent bottle because I noticed my, my baby, he would get very fussy at night, closer to midnight. Like he just be so irate and just not want to go to sleep. Nothing would calm him down, nothing. It was gas and it came from the bottle. So basically I got this little Playtex air vent bottles and this actually has a, a little plastic, I forget what they're called, but they're by Playtex. Anyway, what they do is they keep the gas and fussiness down to a minimum. You really don't have to have this bag, but it helps. And you see how it has a little shake curve? It curves. Yeah. And it just helps air not to go down into the tummies. It's also easier, I'm sure, like, because my daughter right now, she wants to hold the bottle, but she doesn't understand that you have to tilt it back. Right, right. So I'm sure that would really help. We use a vent. Now, I do really love a vent bottles. If you're a breastfeeding mommy, that's what really drew me to them because initially we were breastfeeding. We breastfed the first six right. months, as you know. And the nipple, it worked very well. It, she transitioned to the bottle and from the boob seamlessly she didn't have any nipple confusion it, it says that the nipple is the most like you know a woman's so i feel like that worked really well for us so i think if you are breastfeeding the event would be a good bottle to try and if you have a colicky or gassy baby then playtex is definitely something that you should check out especially the design the, of it yes yeah. the vent air with the curvature yeah. another thing too is my baby he was a premature baby he was born 29 weeks five days. Um, today is actually the day he was supposed to be born. <laughs> July 31st. That's crazy. I know. That I is didn't crazy. know that. <laughs> I just I thought of that. it. I just thought of it. Yeah. But today was the day he was supposed to be born. He's still six pounds, either 10 to 12 ounces in between there at two months. He was premature. But anyway, I noticed I started off breastfeeding him and then, you know, life events happen breast milk dried up but one thing that I found to help I heard her talking about nipple confusion they actually have these little nipple to guard the shield yeah the shields and it also helps with soreness if you want to continue breastfeeding your baby get the shields they actually help tremendously and lanolin lanolin the cream that you put oh, on yeah. there that stuff is amazing use it because it hurts yeah your nipples will end up getting sore because oh, they suck oh. vigorously and don't give up because it hurts because it does go away it's not gonna hurt forever right. like i breastfed until six months and i want to stay at least by like two months like it was pretty normal i didn't yeah. feel any pain i think it's just your body becoming used to it being stuck like that that's not normal your body has to adjust to it yeah so don't give up I mean, right. do it as long as possible, as long as you can, but don't let the pain be a discouragement. Right. Oh, another thing too is, I know I said my milk, my breast milk dried up, but um, try fenugreek. If you feel like your supply is going down, you can get it at any local vitamin store. You can even get it at Walgreens. I mean, it's inexpensive. You can get the teas, you can get anything. Just use that oatmeal is really good for um, breast milk supply. And you can pretty much go online and see what's good for your breast milk supply. But I mean, breast milk is the absolute best thing you can have for your baby. At least up to the first six months. Yeah. Try it. Try, just try it yeah. as long as you can. But um, That's another must have breast milk. Hey now. <laughs> breast milk. Mm -hmm. And freeze it. I still have some frozen. If you pump, 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 then you'll be good. Yeah. Especially for my working mommies. Yeah. Working mommies. Lord. <laughs> What else? I can't really think of too many things. Of course, the obvious things that you must have, like a travel system, your car seat, a stroller. Oh, backpack. Oh, that's a must have. Yes, <laughs> we are pro backpack diaper, diaper bags. Let me go get ours. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, guys. <laughs> we are pro the backpack diaper bag it's so much easier than the one arm tote bag that's heavy and you're like this and, and that on your back you already have to carry your infant now and they get heavy because she is heavy yes yeah and to me 
you can fit like a lot more there's mm -hmm. so many more well there may be the same amount of compartments but um, it's just easier to manage but look at this this is so convenient too I for like me yours. this is Oh, this it is has a, a baby wipe thing. So you so, don't have to dig in there and get it. And I mean, it's just so much easier. My wipes are here. I mean, whatever works for you. That's I mean, but carrying it on your back opposed to because you're gonna have to one. carry other things, either your stuff, other things for the baby. You're gonna be pushing a stroller or whatever mm -hmm. you're gonna be doing. It's so much easier to carry a backpack. Ugh, don't waste the time. <laughs> with any of those other diaper bags trust us Please. you will not regret it won't no. regret it she actually has me on to the backpack because with my first child i carried and he's almost eight so that was a long time ago i don't do they even have these <laughs> I I, I, when i saw her with hers i was like oh my god like did they have those with? Yeah. look so much easier i already have a bad back because of that Okay, take care of yourself. Get you one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's kind of all we got because mm -hmm. we weren't that organized. We kind of just started talking. And then <laughs> said, oh, let's record it. <laughs> that was history. So. Yay. Yay to Mommy Monday. <laughs> right? <laughs> and thank you for doing this with me. Oh, no problem. It was my pleasure. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, thank you and... <laughs> See you again very soon. Maybe Crystal will come back. And my hair will be done. <laughs> Got my little puff ball up here, y'all. I don't, I wear weave religiously. It's okay. Say so Team Natural. I team, am Team Natural. Team Natural. That's team fine. Natural. All right, guys. Bye. That was fun.